these. All right. Oh, so, so this assignment, the big yeah. one, which is worth 50%. Yes. Um, now, I've gone in today and read the additional notes yes. uh, that were with it. And I have a funny feeling that not many of the students have read that yet. Yeah. Have you read it yet? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, now, the implication of that is that you're actually going to, first of all, put up ideas on Moodle for what sort of policy to develop, and then you have a conversation with me about which, whether it's a suitable one and in the particular context, and then we have more contacts on Moodle about um, what research design you're going to do and whether you'll be able to analyze it and, and so on. So reading those notes, it would probably mean you'd need about a month um, at least to get it all sorted out. Uh, but the reality is you've got about 10 days. Yes, not even 10 days. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a bit of a shame. Um, yeah. So nobody has uh, asked me anything until you did this week. Um, so, yeah. So basically, let's do what we can in the time yeah. that we've got. Yeah. Now, um, the... So the first part of the, the question yeah. says you've got to collect, you've got to select a topic and a context. So you have to think about a particular place, school, type of school, particular school, not just type of school, mm -hmm. um, and to come up with a, an idea for writing a policy uh, that would improve the um, student learning and the teacher's ability to teach um, and everyone would be really happy that this policy had been introduced if it was. Yeah. Um, so you've got to come up with something that is going to improve learning and teaching. Yeah. So, um, before so you come up with an idea first, then you go to the points one, two, three and four. Yeah. The first one is you've got to design a, a research, little mini research project that you would run yeah. within the school. So here, let's make an, uh, um, an assumption, not making the case. Let's make a statement. We're not actually going to do the research because yeah. there isn't enough time. Yeah. And nobody's been in touch with me. So yeah. I'm presuming that nobody is going to be able to do the research project which is a huge shame, but that's how life is. Um, so, can I ask you one yeah. question at this moment? So uh, uh, it's regarding the research. Um, do we have to include the research questions in our assignment or in the appendix, like the, at the end of the assignment? Well, look, I, 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 hang on to see. Let me give you, yeah. give you my little speech about the question and then you yeah, can sure. ask the question because I'm going to answer that. Yeah. So... You have to design uh, some questions and yeah. that would collect data and yeah. hypothetically the questions that you design are going to be, um, they've got to be obviously related to the um, policy that you're going to do, which again, we haven't talked about. Yeah. Uh, so this is incredibly difficult. So we'll see, very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. well, so let me um, let me use an example, if I can. Um, first of all, let me ask you whether you know the difference between quantitative and qualitative data. Can you define yeah. those for me? Yes, yes. Uh, so qualitative data are those which are um open-ended questions which doesn't deal with the numbers like values attitudes behavior and whereas qualitatives are those which deals with the number like 
how many students agree to use colorful papers while doing an activity, say four, yeah. five, ten, like that. Excellent. So you basically, for number one, you'd have yeah. to devise a survey that would create yeah. numbers. And yeah. the numbers you would be able to analyze. Um, and yeah. you could actually go to the scores that students have got for an assignment and yeah. analyze those scores, because that would be quantitative data. Yeah. And you could also go and set up some questions, not many, two or three, yeah. that you would maybe have a, a focus group with some students or with some teachers, yeah. and they would give you some ideas, and yeah. that would be a qualitative yeah. data. So you've got to come up with something that would look half like a little mini project. Okay. Now, is that is there on, let me finish, let me finish. No Sorry. questions, let me finish. Sorry. Number two, um, I've got to get my, make my thing a bit bigger so I can read it. Um, here we go. So for number two, define the constituents and the scope of your policy. So under that point, you'd have to think, okay, is this policy going to be relevant to the whole of the high school? Maybe to year 11 and 12, maybe to just girls, maybe to just creative arts subjects. You know, yeah, how yeah. big is your policy going to relate to? Is it just yeah. going to be for maths classes? Is it going to be for English classes or for yeah. all classes? You know, it's, you've got to just say how big the thing is. Yeah. Number three, you've got to develop a rationale that incorporates a Christian or an alternative school context. In other words, don't just think about a policy without any reference to um, the sort of people that you're trying to help. Yeah. Okay? Yes. And finally, you've got to identify some outcomes or measurable features of policy that you can you can say you would run in say a year's time to test whether or not your policy has made a difference. Yeah. Okay. Now yes. let's, let's go, let me take this a little bit further. If you, for example, if for example, you went yes. to the website, the AC website yeah. and uh, you went to, I'm trying to find my AC website now. I'm going to the AC website. Alpha Cruises, here we go. And if you go to the main AC website, not the um, Google, the normal yeah. one, and then top yeah. right, you've got a thing called search website. Yeah. And if you type in, <clears throat> type in, say, learning and learning. teaching. Uh, learning policy. and? Okay. Could you please repeat that? Learning and teaching policy. Learning and teaching policy. Um, if you type that in there, I'm doing that. Policy uh, and enter. Then you get a whole bunch of things. For example, number. Um, yeah, the top one credit transfer and recognition of prior learning policy. Yeah. Now, if you click on that, you get. Yeah. Uh, a policy that Alpha Crisis has got, um, yeah. and it gives you the layout of a policy. Okay. It'll have a, a title. It'll have yeah. a subheading purpose or scope and scope. The policy itself, definition, a few dot points, numbers, loads of subheadings, and key stakeholders. That means who's going to be involved. And then it goes on to procedures. Now, you don't need to get as far as procedures. So yeah. that lot there is the shape of a policy. And then okay. there's a box on the right that says fact box, policy owner, policy category, policy status, blah, blah, blah. When was it last amended? Now, what I, going back to our assignment, I suggest that you think that you're going to write a policy that looks something like that, but obviously for okay. your school context. Yeah. It'll have similar headings, yeah. not exactly the same headings. And 
that then it sits as your policy. Now, underneath that, you've got the notes one, two, three, and four. So you're going mm -hmm. to have a section on your research design, a section on the scope, a section on the, the rationale, a section on how you're going to measure its effectiveness. Yeah. The whole thing should be no more than 3,000 words. Okay. So, so to answer your original question, no, don't bother about appendices or all that sort of stuff. Just the whole thing should be about 3,000 words. Okay. Yeah. So I think that it's doable. Um, most crucial thing uh, is to get a good idea for a policy uh, in a particular context that you can say to me. So I'm going to shut up in a minute and you're going to give me some ideas that you might think might work. Now, I've already had a chat with um, Tulsi, not Tulsi, you're Tulsi, sorry. <laughs> I just had a chat with uh, Kalichi and he, he couldn't be here tonight, but he's going to watch the video. He, uh, he's thinking about the school that he did his placement in and sorry, he's what? thinking that it would be a good idea to have a policy about enabling students to hand their work in on a Moodle type setting rather than people handing work in on paper or on USBs. Yeah. So he's thinking about a policy like that. Okay. Now we'll have to have some conversation about whether that's going to work, um, but that's that's where he's going. So yeah. I will now shut up. So see, give me your ideas. Um, what I was thinking about uh, a policy as the effect of media on high school students, HSC students. Uh, uh, Does it, is, uh, is it a good or it's too big, like too big? Uh, uh, the thing is, a policy is a set of ideas that are going to change people's behaviors. It's not a study. A re yeah. What you've just described is, if you like, a research project. A policy okay. is something that is designed to change behavior. Behavior, yeah. So, um, so, so the, a, try, the, try me again. What did you just, just say? Uh, like, uh, earlier I said effect of media, but is it can be like use of media to enhance the learning of hsc students can it be like this yeah and now we're getting a bit closer so yeah. a policy about use, the use of media mm, to enhance no, 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 that's that the use is too vague uh, a policy about uh, a po policy for for policy for it's obviously going to, it's going to have an action involved. Okay. Policy for um, now, what do you mean by the use of media? What do you mean? What's what's the problem that you're trying to address, and where's the context? Um, so, it's regarding when students are. In HSC, they are going to be in the outer world, and media is a very close link between the school education and the outer world, which links studies, career, lives, and everything. Well, no, no, no it's not, you're not, and you're not hitting it yet. Maybe think okay. about a context. What context are you talking about? A, a particular school. Mm. For example, a public school. Yeah, but which? Um, have which? you been to one? No, <laughs> I have been only to one of the Christian schools. That's the Nepean Christian School. Right, and Penfield. that's where you did your first placement? Yes, I did my first placement there. Well, I would, since that's the school you know, I think yeah. I would start your thinking from there. So, okay. just tell me, did you notice any issues in the school community, like um, where kids were failing in something generally, you know, something wasn't going well 
for I'll give I'll give you a ridiculous example. Maybe there was a classroom where the teacher teacher's voice couldn't be heard because yeah. of a building works next door. Yeah. So the teacher had to do heaps of writing on the board and showing videos because he couldn't do any teaching. Therefore, arguably, you could have a policy about soundproofing the classroom until the build, building works was over. That's yeah. a policy. Okay. Now, I don't propose to do that because it's ridiculous. But is there something, I mean, would you say in the school that you saw, there was an issue with bullying of girls, for um, example? Was, did you notice that? Yes, I did notice that, but that was um, not girls. There were specifically two girls who were traveling in bus every day, and they were from African background, I, I assume. Yeah. And, and there was a certain neglect from other students of, who were traveling in the bus. They were not talking to, to those girls. Like they were, those two girls were sisters. So they used to be in each other's company only. And the rest of the students tend to ignore them or not behave with them in okay. an appropriate manner. Okay. Yes. Tulsi, I think you've hit the nail on the head. Okay. So you know the context. Yes. You can describe the context. Yeah. School. Yeah. And you, what, what a grade were these kids in? Uh, uh, I, one was in kindy and other was in first or second grade. Okay. So what I'm saying to you then is that the scope of your policy, it, was yeah. it, it was a high school and primary as well. Sorry, what? It was a, a whole K to 12 school. Yeah, it's, it yeah, was yeah, a whole yeah. kid. So you could have a policy on uh, something, I, I can't give you the exact words, but something around um, um, cultural integration. Cultural, cultural integration. integration. Or um, of... Is it, yeah, that's it, just cultural integration. Um, uh, on cultural integration of student outside school? No, 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 Within the school community, how, uh, okay. that the policy, a policy for improving, um, for improving, cultural, cultural acceptance. Cultural acceptance. Acceptance. Now, I'm not saying that's the yeah. best words for it. You could probably come up with a better phrase, but something around okay. that area, and it would be whole school, K okay. to 12, yeah. and yeah. you'd have to devise a, some questions and surveys to yeah. ascertain the, the scope of the problem. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming, because you happen to notice that those two girls would be much wider than that. Yeah. There would be... A, one of the surveys would be to work out how what the ethnic um, mix of the school was, yeah, and and come up with a proposal for improving that. Okay. Um, that, that, that you you could propose. Here's this ridiculous, silly example, but propose I could propose you could propose uh, that every term, four yeah. times a year, the school yeah. will put on a a uh, a food fair, um, yeah. and every culture um, would may be made responsible to provide a a dish uh, yeah. or dishes for their from their homeland. Okay. And uh, the food will be brought in, created by parents for the kids, brought into the school, and sold at a, a small amount of money. But all the money would go to uh, supporting refugees in Australia, maybe in detention in um, some detention centers or whatever. Uh, yeah. That could be a policy, right? Yeah. And yeah. how would you measure it? Well, you could 
have a survey that you've done to ascertain the nature of the problem, then you run the yeah. survey again. Um, okay. In a year's time, and you measure, for example, have the number of incidents or issues decreased? Does okay. this make any sense to you, Tulsi? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, yes, I think, yes. I think you're off the starting box. I think you with that in the PN school, what you what I recommend you do is you go to EBSCO host and you do some research on um, multicultural policies in schools. Yep. And see what you find. Yeah. And that will give you some ideas. Yes. Um, maybe I would re really suggest that you get hold of um, your friendship group and you yeah. and say, look, I've got this a crazy assignment. I've got to do it now. I want you to sit down with me and brainstorm some questions. That, what, what questions could I ask for kids? What would be yeah. appropriate questions for uh, primary school kids? What questions could I ask for high school kids? What questions should I ask for teachers? And you could get going that way. So rather than going to a school this week, I would get somebody together, get a group of uh, friends together and brainstorm some questions. That's part one. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Excellent. Look, I'm going to shut up now and you're going to ask me anything else about this assignment and then really I must go. Um, well, so far you have come. Oh, yes. Uh, the other thing, uh, is there a limitation like the number of questions we should include, include in our survey, like 10, 20, 50? Or oh, please. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, I would suggest three to five. Three to five? Yes, no, no okay. more. You, you'd be going nuts if you do more. Um, yeah. Make it as small and as pointed as you possibly can. Don't yeah. uh, make too much work for yourself. Sure. Um, yeah, thank you. Anything else? And what is the meaning of, uh, if you look at the question once again, so yeah. the last line says, integrate your policy in comprehensive format. What is the comprehensive format means? Ah. Integrate your policy in a comprehensive format. Well, I'm blown. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, seriously, I've not noticed that phrase before. Um, seriously, look, in terms of, uh, what could it mean? Um, this is going to be a bit difficult at this stage in the game. Yeah. It could mean that, you know, where would this policy sit in within other policies within the school? But you're not in a position to go into the school and go and do that, are you? No. Um, you, you can't. No. Um, there isn't time and space to do that now. So okay. I would ignore that last phrase. Okay. Uh, in terms of formats, uh, yeah. I would say go back to the Alpha Crucis website and type in any policy and yeah. get the format from there. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Anything else? Hmm. I should say that I'm, um, as I say, I'm away from this weekend to the next weekend. Really? Uh, I'm going down to Canberra so, and off to uh, Aria Park. I want to ask you uh, one question which is not related to this, but this that's the forum. You know, that is due on 28th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me finish. Um, so what I'm saying is, you've only got today and tomorrow oh, to ask okay. me questions about anything. Okay. Um, because I can't guarantee I'll get to any emails um, when I'm away. I'm visiting uh, Katie um, McCullough in yeah. her school, and I'm visiting 
students, the teachers uh, and the students in okay. Canberra as well. Wow. So it's, and then when I get back, you've got to hand it in that night. I get yes. back on the 4th and that's when this is due. Yes. So, uh, sorry, now what were you saying? Um, the question was regarding forum posting. Right. Which you want to in this Sunday. So you said you can uh, add on to others' reflection as well. So I want to ask you, is it compulsory to reflect on others' reflection on the forum? Or is it okay if you don't do that? No, that's fine. That's fine? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, look, seriously, there's not, if it was a very large class, it'd be a bit different. But okay. um, it's not. It's only three of you. So uh, uh, I wouldn't worry, too, worry yourself too much about that. Okay, thank you. That's all. Okay. So you. you're all right then? Yes. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, well, look, all the best. And as I say, you've got, everyone's got from tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. Yeah. And that's it. So if you've got any lingering questions, don't forget to put them on the news forum because that's where I'll answer them so everyone yeah. can get the answer, okay? Sure. So, and make sure they're, they're short. I don't yes. want long questions. Yes. <laughs> All right? Yeah. All right. See you then. See you, Tim. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for your questions. Bye-bye.